You're watching Burke's Backyard in Thailand, and we're now at the home of Major General Prida Peng Pricha. Now, this is a very distinguished soldier, this man. He fought in Korea, Vietnam, and other areas. He was honoured by the king, and obviously, being successful, he is reasonably affluent, so he can afford to keep cats. Do many people in Thailand breed cats? Not many, because with the bad economy, the food is expensive. Only in the palace with the king, wealthy people, and in the temple where they have food. Now, there are four breeds of cat in Thailand. Some we know in the rest of the world, some we don't. Now, the obvious one that all of us know is the Siamese cat, and this is one here. Although it might surprise you to know that in Thailand, and that is, of course, the old Siam, there's only the old-fashioned seal point Siamese. They don't have the blue point or the chocolate point or the lilac point, just the original type of Siamese cat. And it's a rather more robust type of Siamese cat than we have anywhere else in the world. Then there's this one here, which many people in the cat world will know. We've done them on Burke's Backyard before. The Karat, or Karat, if you want to pronounce it that way, the bluish cat of Thailand. Very small breed of cat. And then there's one here that I think could well prove extremely popular in the rest of the world. This one is known as the Copper Cat of Thailand. It's got the same darker points that you see in a Siamese, but it's a glorious coppery colour. There's this light copper colour, and there's another one over there which is a darker, more chocolate sort of a colour. Little bit similar in some respects to perhaps a, a Burmese or a Tonkinese, but it is a breed in its own right. As I say, these are hardly known at all outside of Thailand. The other one is a white cat. It's sort of shaped much like the Siamese. I suppose it's a bit like a foreign white in Australia or whatever. These are very attractive little cats and they particularly like the odd eyes. Odd eyed whites here are considered very special. That is where you have one blue and one green eye. But they also produce some of them with the red eyes and they too are very much valued. Now you might be wondering what they actually eat. Well, this isn't a rich country, so to be quite honest, conventional cat food really is just too expensive. Basically what most of them eat is rice with just a touch of prepared cat food mixed in with it. So you could expect that if these cats were sent overseas, their kittens would grow far larger than these cats once they got onto the better diets. How do you feel about the fact that perhaps more than 50% of all the purebred cats bred in the world are developed from your own Siamese cats. We number one, Thailand cat number one. Best in the world? <laughs> yeah, yeah.